Hey everybody, my name is Drew or Captain Marka, and welcome back to episode 31 of Pokemon Snake Wood. I have not recorded this in a while, and I have a perfectly good reason, and by the way, I really love the music in this place. This is probably one of my favorite Pokemon tunes ever. Yes, I just called it a tune. And uh this is my second time recording this because I had a failed recording where I didn't record the audio. As I mentioned in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I don't know, or Dynamite Dunes Episode 3, I don't know if I have that one uploaded yet, but I did mention it there if I do have it uploaded, so awesome. Uh, but I do know now that I, have, I, I can't go into that building. I was going to say camp, but then I said half, so then it turned out as calf, so now it's like a baby cow. And uh, I don't think there's any items up there. I think I did check that. But, what we do need to do is go back to the desert. And here, we need to go back to where we saw that magical being and help out that one guy who was up here fighting it. Now, I didn't know he was fighting it. I thought he was being all like, oh ho ho, I'm gonna summon this beast. But apparently he's fighting it. And what that means is we have to go help him because we're the main character and that's how it works. See, Jizumi, for many days I have labored, using my magics to seal off that beast that famine summons, here to destroy the land and form the desert. I drove it into the school. I don't know why he has constipation. Okay, I'm done. And sheer willpower, I am keeping it there, but I fear I cannot hold out much longer. Go forth, young warrior, and defeat this abomination of the land. I think that is the fastest I've ever read anything. Ever. But I already know, from doing this before, that this is... Gyaro! Yes, it is, if you couldn't tell from the cry, an Aerodactyl, but not just any Aerodactyl. A freaking shiny one! Yes, it is a level 40 shiny Aerodactyl, which is amazing. And it's part rock type and part flying type, so it's a pretty good type uh, thing there. I, I'm... I don't know if that's really good or not. Uh, it has a few weaknesses. I don't really think that really cancels out anything, except it'll make it... Well, I guess it takes away um, a grass weakness, for one. But it does put on a water one, as well as... Well, it it makes a uh, rock regular, too. I probably should like get this straight before I say it in a video. I'm all like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But if you look at the, his foot or something, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it looks like a head to another Pokemon. I don't know if that's intentional or anything, but that's what it looks like to me. So, there you go. And I guess, yeah, it took away uh, the weakness to fire, unfortunately. Uh, that would have been good to have in this battle, because it, he is kind of over-leveled for us, or she, my bad. I was going to name this after someone, but I guess I can't now because it's a girl. Uh, so sorry, but <laughs> maybe I will next time. Um, who do we want to switch to? I think we want to switch to Lethal for the water, the water damage. And I'm gonna hit it in its weak point for maximum damage. I don't know what that's a reference to, but I hear people say it all the time. So I'm gonna be cool like that and do all that. Oh no, his stats all got r risen, ro rose, and what's the um participle for uh? Rose or rise, the past participle. Isn't that whenever there's a um, like have has had a a linking verb? I think I don't know. Uh, but what what's the past participle? I know that's what it's called, but what is it for? Uh, rose. I think it's risen, but I'm not sure. Uh, we use surf. This isn't grammar class, so I'm I'm gonna stop that. I'm sure you guys get enough of that at school if you if you still go to school. That is. Oh, and by the way. Uh, interesting fun fact, I am now pr uh, producing videos for 10% female, so now I can actually, well, I can actually safely say that at least two females watch my videos every week, or every week, every day, or every other day, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm not a complete loser after all, or am I? Hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez, I don't know. The sandstorm. The sandstorm. Oh no! What? Why? Where did that come from? I have no idea. I am full of energy tonight, and I don't know why. I guess it's because it's a Friday, and I'm. It's 10 o'clock at night, and unfortunately, soccer's over. The indoor season's over, so that's unfortunate. But wow, we got uh, red health. That's pretty good. 
And I'm going to try and catch this thing. I think we have one Ultra Ball, if I remember correctly. Maybe. Sure, please. Sure, please. Yeah. Uh, yes, we do have one Ultra Ball. But for kicks, I'm going to go with the Pokeball first. Oh, if this catches, I'm going to die. One, two, three! Yes! Oh my gosh! I caught a level 40 shiny Aerodactyl in a Pokeball! <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, 297 Aerodactyl Colossal Pokemon. Aerodactyl is a Pokemon from the age of dinosaurs. It was regenerated from genetic material extracted from amber. Why can't scientists in the real world do that? It is imagined to have been the king of the skies in the ancient times. I mean, granted, we don't want to bring back a T-Rex, but I mean, come on, can't you bring back, like, smaller dinosaurs that won't take over the world? <laughs> And I will give this, since it is a shiny, I mean, since it is a shiny, and she is a girl, it makes sense that I name this, wait, do I have symbols? No, I don't. Sorry, but you are going to be named Star, and this is after XX Baby Girl Star, I think her username is, but she prefers to be called Star, so that is what I'm going to name that Aerodactyl. And that was awesome. And I guess that's pretty fitting, because, I mean, it is shiny. Uh, Seiji Zumi, you, you defeated the monster. Your power is great indeed, young one. I can finally return home. Thank you for your great kindness. And he... Okay, he just walked through me. I'm going to cut back to, uh... That one place. Legends of Zelda Majora's Mask. No, I mean, what? Uh, we are going to cut back to Snowhead Temple. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, real quick, before uh, we cut back to Snowhead Temple, there are these two items I did forget. So we are going to uh, go ahead and collect those if I can solve the puzzle of the mysterious thingies. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I didn't know what to call them. Okay, so I think I got it. I don't know how I got it quite, but we did get it. TM14, I bet it's Blizzard. Am I right? And yes, I am. It's Blizzard, a vicious snow and wind attack that may freeze the foe. Okie doke. So we are now going to fight a wild Pokemon. And now exit the cavern. And we are going to get this item now as well. I am not going to be reckless and skip it. What is this? A water bottle that will cure burn. So fun times, fun times indeed. Oh no, don't go back in there. We want to get out of here. And I think that when whenever we go back to Snowhead Temple, I forgot this because I was going to cut out there. They actually tell us to come back here. And oh, no, no. Back through the frigid wet. Wait. Do I have to go back to Snowhead Temple? Okay. Well, I'll go back there and I will cut there. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, going back into Snowhead Temple, which I'm going to stick to calling it. So don't tell me otherwise. We are going to go back and I think that guy that we helped out will be in this building. And, oh, you have defeated the air. Yes, he is. But there are still dark forces at work here. The demons still hold the peak of the mountain. I must ask you to destroy them for me. When you return, go to the tower. At its peak, I shall wait for you. Okay, so we have to go to the place. We have to go to the mountain which I spent like five minutes searching for the first time so I am going to actually get it the first time this time because I know where it's at I think we can go this way I don't know if we can get back up all the way but it is this way and we already fought him on the way there the first time so that's good and now this guy will let us through young warrior I got the pass with a normal man to exit the monster area without us knowing but apparently they're telekinetic or telekinesic -y and stuff so they they know what they're doing and they they apparently told him that I was coming but we are now on Mount Chimney and guess who we get to face no not the Inquisition Lord kill me now I guess I'll see you guys next time when we have to uh, unfortunately take on these guys goodbye